Dolph Lundgren's story is one of a successful transition from bodybuilding to a flourishing movie career. Starting with a passion for fitness and bodybuilding, Lundgren competed in the Swedish National Bodybuilding Championships. Lundgren's debut came in 1985 when he played the imposing Soviet fighter Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. Since then, he's been in over 69 films, virtually all of them have been action pictures. However, his desire for creative expression led him to pursue acting, and he achieved international fame with his role as Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. Lundgren's imposing physique and acting talent allowed him to take on a variety of action-packed roles in films like Masters of the Universe and the Universal Soldier series. Throughout his career, Lundgren maintained a strong emphasis on fitness and healthy living, releasing training programs and books to share his knowledge. His story serves as an inspiration for aspiring individuals who aim to pursue their passions and achieve success in multiple areas of their lives. Welcome back to Bodybuilding Olympians. In today's episode, we're going to see the shocking revelation that Lundgren made about his disease. What caused him cancer? Before we get into the video though, subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. Why did he reveal that steroids are the reasons for giving him cancer? Let's check everything out in detail in this episode. The actor, best known for his roles as Ivan Drago in Rocky IV and Creed II, discussed his wealth with Graham Bensinger on his show In Depth with Graham Bensinger. After playing He-Man in 1987's Master of the Universe, Lundgren became even more well-known and admired for his body as a result of the film's extraordinary success. Thereafter, dozens of action films such as Red Scorpion from 1988, The Punisher from 1991, and Universal Soldier from 1992 were released. The jobs haven't really slowed down either. In Creed II from 2018 and Aquaman from 2018, he reprised his Drago role and played King Nereus. Lundgren, who was a prominent role in last year's The Best Man, has almost 100 acting jobs. Despite never competing as a professional bodybuilder, Lundgren has been connected with bodybuilding and fitness since his appearance as Drago in the mid-1980s. In an interview with them, he claimed that he worked out up to six days a week, generally for one hour in the morning, claiming that it's just one hour a day and then you can enjoy the other 23. Although he began training weights as a youth, he credits co-star Sylvester Stallone for getting him into serious bodybuilding in the 1980s when he moved to the United States. Stallone had a long-lasting impact on his workout routine and nutrition, ensuring that he ate a larger amount of protein and separated his meals. He described how he received his initial lung cancer diagnosis in 2015 during the interview. After a time of remission, Lundgren's cancer reappeared in 2020, and one medical professional estimated that he only had a few years to live. The celebrity, however, sought a second opinion, and his tumors have shrunk as a result of his current medication. Lundgren originally broke the news while also quoting a famous Rocky IV phrase. It's the day after my operation. They removed one tumor, then they removed another two they found, and another three minor ones. He remarked in 2020 while still donning a hospital robe. I hope it's been cleared out. If he dies, he dies. In an interview, Dolph Lundgren acknowledged taking steroids for years while also disclosing that he had been battling cancer. Lundgren said that he used steroids on and off for almost 10 years while sitting down for an interview with Ben Singer. He continued to say that he wasn't sure whether his former steroid use had any effect on his present state. Back in the 80s and the 90s, I took steroids. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with cancer, but of course, it occurred to me that it might, Lundgren added. I thought about it. You always think you've made a mistake. I believe there may be a link between testosterone replacement treatment and cancer. When I was younger, I used steroids intermittently for 10 years, maybe longer, depending on the type of film I produced. With that, we've come to the middle of this episode. For more like this, continue watching the whole video. And before we continue, please subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos just like this. Dolph Lundgren claims that after being diagnosed with cancer, he finally went into remission. Regrettably, the cancer did reappear in 2020. A doctor informed him that he only had two to three years to live. Lundgren then sought a second opinion and began further therapy. He states that the tumor has shrunk as a result of his therapy. A snippet of Lundgren speaking to the camera in a hospital gown is included in the interview video. Dolph Lundgren tells in the video how he found he had cancer again. 
He began having severe acid reflux in 2020. He didn't know what was wrong, so he sought medical attention. He underwent MRI, and the scan revealed that he had several additional tumors. The doctor informed Lundgren that the tumor had enlarged to the size of a tiny lemon. The actor continues. He was informed by the same doctor that he only had another two to three years to live. Dolph Lundgren also mentions throughout the chat that he thinks his prior steroid use has had an effect on his body, even suggesting a probable connection between his diagnosis and his steroid use. Although it's uncertain if Lundgren's usage of steroids contributed to the development of his cancer, he thinks it might have. Nevertheless, Dolph Lundgren continues to fight. Lundgren said he is now openly sharing his tale to help others while he has therapy to remove the residual scar tissue from the tumors. He expressed his optimism that his treatment will keep the malignancy under control. He remarked, If you can save the life of one person who is in my situation, then it's definitely worth it. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode. So what do you think is the reason for the disease? Comment your thoughts in the space given below. If you've enjoyed the video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. You can feel free to watch some other videos from our playlist too, but until next time, goodbye.